Is this done? Oh, there's bees. I told you guys that was the bee's knees. Look at that. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to get back to some serious terraforming here. Uh, as you can see, we are 86% of the way towards the insects stage. Uh, we also had the water filter unlocked, so that's the first thing we're going to make today. And that should allow us to drink directly from water sources, which is great. Uh, okay, so let's go downstairs. And I also want to make the Tier 2 uh, pinning recipe. So let's actually do that first, and we'll pin it. And it shows us the stuff that we need for that. So uh, we need a methane. We got lots of that. I got a full chest of methane going on. Uh, looks like we need a cobalt and a mag. Let's pull those out of these overflow chests. Uh, a zeolite and an osmium. Got lots of osmium. I have a full chest of oz there and then some. And zeolite I've placed over here. And I think that gives us everything we need for the double pin recipe. Excellent. Okay, now we can pin two recipes. Let's go ahead and pin the water filter next. And uh, we're going to need an aluminum, a silicon, and a cloth, and two plastic nuggets. Okay, so silicon we'll pull out of here. Aluminum we'll pull out of here. Oh, I guess I already have an aluminum. That works. Uh, we're going to need a water, which we have. Let's get some more of those, though. Uh, we also need the cloth. Okay, and then two plastic bio nuggets, which we'll need to make because I don't have any more of those. I don't think I do. No, we're completely out. Okay. So to make those, let's uh, also pin that recipe. And uh, we'll need two shrooms, another silicon, and a water, except for we need to double that up. Let's grab those shrooms, and I'm also going to grab the eggplant. I'm leaving the squash there for now because the chest, the squash chest is completely full, as you can see. Uh, let's grab two more shrooms out of here. We'll put the eggplant in there. And uh, we're also going to need two silicon. Two more silicon. Okay, so that should allow us to make two of these. And then let's unpin that. And then we'll go make the water filter. I guess we do that in here. Fantastic. Okay, let's unpin it. Let's put it in our slot here. And go test it out. All right, cool. We can now drink directly from water sources uh, we still should take you know keep um, at least one water bottle in our inventory though because you know water sources aren't all over the entire map uh, let's eat that right now I think what I'll do though um, unless I know for sure I'm gonna be in a barren area uh, I think I'll just keep one water bottle instead of two because I kind of well I mean sometimes I only keep one anyways but yeah I like recently harvested those. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, launch another seed spreader rocket for oxygen multiplayer. So let's pin that. I'd also like to try this map information rocket. I'm thinking what that's going to do is it's going to actually label some of these areas so we know what they're actually called. So, yeah, well, that'll be fun. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to actually go FK for a bit. Uh, all right, what are we doing? We're making rockets. So let's do let's do the seed spreader rocket first. So um, 
We'll grab a rocket engine. <clears throat> Actually, let's take everything with us to make both of these. Um, we're going to need two supers. I think... Uh, do I have any more supers, loose supers left in here? I don't. Okay. Oh. I have, like, no loose supers left. Uh, really? I guess I, I guess I turned them all into rods, didn't I? Okay. Well, then let's turn one of these rods back into loose pieces. Uh, we want to turn this off too. Um, yeah, set that to nothing, so it doesn't try and remake them, because it'll it'll pull from here too, from what I understand. Whoops. Okay, grab all of that stuff. Um, and let's see, we're going to need, uh, what's this? That's a compass chip. Okay. Uh, so that's this guy here. Silicon, a mag, and two aluminums. Grab that. Uh, silicon. Start, start to, well, no, we're not running out of silicon. We have a whole chest there. We're just running out of it in the second bin. Silicon mag, silicon mag, and two aluminums. Um, okay, so that should take care of the compass chip. Uh, we'll need a super rod and two osmiums. Okay, so that takes care of that rocket, and we're also gonna need. A mutagen, a bacteria sample, and a tree bark. Uh, let's see if we have any new tree barks. We don't. Okay, that's fine. We'll take one from here. And we have a mutagen and a bacteria sample. And it looks like we have everything we need for both of these rockets. Let's go out this way. All right, let's do the uh, seeds rocket first. Or right, yeah, seeds rocket. <laughs> yeah, didn't quite get to it. Okay, that should increase our oxygen and also, I'm assuming hopefully more, more trees maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Next, we're going to do the uh, plant, uh, or sorry, the map information rocket. I'm going to wait a second for this other stuff to die down just so the game doesn't do weird stuff. As I've mentioned to you guys many times now, if you've been following the series, I have a lot of problems with this game crashing. And so I need to, oh, we got bugs or larvae need to be careful. In fact, let's even save at this point. It doesn't like uh, to go over 60 frames per second, which kind of sucks because you can definitely tell the difference between 120 frames and 60 frames. It's just so much smoother on 120, but uh, it'll crash if I put it o over 60. So yeah, just got to be careful. And it seems to do it more in this area, too, because maybe because of the waterfall or something, it's more stable when I'm not near this waterfall, which is also interesting. Maybe not surprising, but interesting. All right, map information rocket here. Oh, look at that thing. Got solar panels on it. Okay. Let's see if we can push it over. Okay, we, <laughs> we threw it off course a little bit. Okay, um, so, oh, look at it spinning. That's hilarious. Okay, it's out of render distance now. 
let's uh, unpin these guys. Oh, I, have to, I guess we have to do that from here, right? Yeah. Should we do... Let's do another let's do another seed spreader. Oh, we got machine optimizer tier 2. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do another seed spreader. Um okay, so we're going to need another mutagen and a bacteria sample. Another tree bark. And just another rocket engine. We have everything else. Okay. Now, nah, didn't really throw that one off course. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Let's hop back in here. Get our food topped off. Put the larva away. And the next thing I think I want to do is let's look at our stuff here. Find and insert fuses into this to boost the performance of nearby streams. Okay, so we we could try that. Um, oh, right. We want to do the incubator next, actually. Uh, so let's do that. Oh, shoot. I forgot to unpin the rocket. Uh, we need to drink. Yeah, I wish that uh, that we could unpin this without having to go back into the menu. I do, I do. Oh, right, we gotta. You're back again. We gotta go look at the map now. Um, and I want to check our index now. Terraformation index. Ninety percent. Okay, we're well on our way. Let's do a save. Let's look at the map. Oh, okay. So it's added icons. It's interesting that it puts sulfur right there. I didn't know there was sulfur over there. So it doesn't tell us names of the regions, but it does show where we can find stuff. That that appears to be neolite. Hmm. Okay, so that's the cave. Yeah, that's the cave that pops out into the sulfur biome. Yeah, there's the there's the super alloy cave. I remember that one. Oh, there's a, there's another uranium cave over here. Cool. I I didn't know that. Uh, I, I well, I think I had heard that there were two, but I didn't know where the second one was. And we haven't been over in this area yet either. That's the last place that we have yet to yet explore. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's the osmium cave that we went under the water. That's the iridium cave. What is, what is this? Is that magnesium? Yeah, that's magnesium. Okay. Is there a? That's a sulfur cave. There is there a, pulsar crystal cave. It doesn't appear like there is. Yeah, it shows this uranium cave too.
that would be for obsidian okay well that's a uh, very useful information to know and it also appears like we will never be able to put an extractor down for pulsar crystals so something to keep in mind it still does not tell us what the names of those regions are and I know I can find that on the wiki and if if I don't find some in-game way to do that before this series is over, I will do that just so I know for next, you know, for the next playthrough. But uh, interesting. Okay, so um, next next order of business. Let's take a look. Now, oh yeah, we want to do the incubator next. So we got that pinned, and we just need to get a tier two fertilizer. It's funny. I've never. I have not made a tier two fertilizer yet. Uh, everything I have has been stuff we've looted which is nice and just another tree bark oh and after this we'll do the tree spreaders and I want to put down some more uh, algae collector thingies too all right we have everything we need this seems to me like it's probably a biolab thingy how big is it though okay it's not super big can we fit it over here um no that's gonna be sticking out too far what about over where's the front there's the front let's put it there it, oh yeah we can't get through there okay no that's not gonna work so probably gonna have to put it in this corner And right, right there. Can we get through? Oh, damn it, Jim. This thing's too damn big. It needs to go in here, though. <laughs> I want it in here. Ah, shit. Um, we're probably going to have the same, even if I moved this and tried to put it in this corner, we probably have the same issue. I wonder if we can... All right, hold on a sec. Let's take this down. Is it possible to put this... There we go. I think that's the answer. Well, hopefully, if it'll actually let us move through. There. That works. And then we can put the DNA manipulator right here. Um, or... Yeah, let's leave that open for, for more storage chests if we decide we need them. And we want to turn this so it's more like about that way. Can we still walk through here? Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess we're not putting it there then. probably can't put it we might be able to put it here let's see I don't I don't think so nope all right well this is gonna have to go in the corner over here then and again we'll put it kind of at an angle so it's more or less like that and right there. Okay, we can move around. All right, now let's uh, take a look at this. We want to make a bee larva so we can make the beehive thingy. Butterflies, butterflies, silkworms. And fish, crom eggs, phytoplankton bee. And a mutagen tier three. Okay, that's a little ways out. Uh, but we should be able to do the bee larva because we can do the beehive. So we need a mutagen, an uncommon, and a normal furt. Normal furt. We're going to need to make a mutagen. And an uncommon larva, which is one of you. Okay, and then uh, the mutagen requires bacteria sample, a methane, and a sulfur. 
bacteria sample. Um, we'll grab the methane out here and the sulfur because I have that in overflow. And then we'll get our get some bees going. It'll be the bees' knees. Yes, it will. Okay, open incubator. This, this, and this. Research. There we go. It's funny that it has a question mark like, what is this going to be when it tells us <laughs> right here what it's going to be? And then, uh, then we'll look into some butterflies after that and and the silkworm but we need we need to actually drink you have to kind of be in the right spot for that to work though okay so um let's go up here 95% of the way there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go to the bio thing. And... Oh, wow, the teleporter's getting close to being unlocked. That's amazing. Tree spreader 3, os osmium rod. Fusion drone. Mutagen 3. Aquarium. Where did I see the butterfly thingies? Here, butterfly dome. Okay, so when we get to 140 T, which we're very close, we'll be able to do butterflies, which will be nice. Butterfly chevron, lava, um, Emil Lewix, butterfly farm. Insert butterfly larva into it to increase insect levels. Tree seed shriox. Tier 2 gas extractor. Okay, so once we get these insects going, then, then it'll start unlocking this tech tree, which will include better food, among other things. Silk generator produces silk. We probably need that to make fabric for something, I'm guessing. Outdoor farm, that's cool. And fish stuff. Okay. Um, how far away are we from... That's 13. Oh, yeah, we're, we're a ways off before we get to that. Okay. Um, Let's do now the... Let's do three more tree spreaders. And we got these three tree seeds here. Two of those... Uh, I made this and this, and I looted that from somewhere. I don't remember. So we're going to pin this. Uh, let's unpin you. And, okay, so we're going to need three bacteria samples. We need nine of these. Okay, let's make those. And we're going to also need a bunch of water for that, too. We might have to make a run over to the lakeside base to grab some more algae, which is fine. One. Oh, we need more water. Uh, actually, I have water in here. There. Okay, so we have three of those. Uh, we're going to need three tier one ferts. One, two, three. We're going to need three barks. One, two, three. And three of the plastic, uh, bioplastic things, which we're going to have to make. Let's pin those. Okay, so three silicon. More water. Just going to grab a bunch of water. And a total of six mushrooms. Are these ready? Yes, they are. Let's also pick the eggplant. Put those over here. We'll eat that one. 
That should be enough to make the bioplastics. Uh, and the only other thing we need now is super. Uh, oh no, we have the super alloys. Yeah, okay, I think we have everything to do some more tree spreaders. Let's go out here. So we have one tree spreader right there. Um, I don't know that we want to put it there because we already have trees growing. But that's kind of the case all the way around, isn't it? Let's put one in this in this pond area. And I'm going to actually hold it closer to the shore with the assumption that it'll put the trees a little further out, I guess. Okay, and let's make this this Aladius seed. And what does this do for us? This does... 920 PPQs of oxygen. And 77 for plants. Cool. Alright, um... I guess we could plop one down here. And these are both the same, so it doesn't matter. 920 PPQs of oxygen. There's a lot of trees around this area. Oh, I know what we should do. Let's run over to the lakeside base. We'll put one down there, and we'll also grab some algae and bring it back. <clears throat> I've been debating whether or not to take this stuff down. Um, if we do that, <clears throat> excuse me, it kind of beautifies the landscape a little bit, unclutters it, and it'll give us some materials back. Um, so I don't know. I, we, I might do that. We'll see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll wait until we can we have breathable atmosphere and then do it. Um, you know, because then we don't need... Yeah, look how much this has changed. This is crazy. It's really nice, though, that it opens up this little shortcut. Me likey. Alright, let's go... back over to our lakeside... um... base here. But see, there there are no trees around here. That is just really odd. Maybe what we need to do is is put a rocket launch platform over here and and launch them from here. Hmm, I don't know. But what we will do is we'll put a tree spreader here. And that will at least get some trees going for us. Pop our O2 off and eat that. I got a whole mess of super in here and in here. Goodness gracious. Um, I didn't mean to bring all these waters over here. Okay. So, yeah, let's just see what this does. And there's a rare larva. Okay, we need to pick that up. So I'm going to, I'm just going to put the waters in here, except for one. And we're also breaking the rules and running around without an O2 tank. For shame. For shame. What, we, uh, what was that? Oh, vivarium research insects level. Look at that. We just hit insects. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's make an O2 bottle. Going to do a game save here. Uh, let's pick up this rare larva. This is an uncommon. I've got quite a few commons, so I think I'm going to leave those alone for now. That's an uncommon. Alright, now I don't have room for any algae. So let's just put the supers back, because we don't need them right now.
I'm going to leave the tier one algae collectors there. But I think what I'll do is... Nah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to pick them up. Let's leave them here. But we'll, we will grab the algae, though. And we'll just build some new ones. So that way we're, you know, contributing to more terraforming. Uh, okay, yep, the other one's over here. Excellent. I want to start grabbing these things as we come across them. They're all over the place. Ah, oh, these are... These are those new trees. Cool. I wish we could get a little more green over here, too. Like, you know, the, the moss or green-colored terrain. Should I be moving this back? Because look at this. This one is right at the edge, and these trees are all the way out to here. I think we should. I think those need to be on the shore. And what we could do is build some more of them and just put them all along the edge so we have a nice little ring of trees around our, our place here. But I want to actually start over on this side. So let's rebuild this right here. Hold on. Cut it out. You can bring it that close to the shore. Okay. Yeah, so that should push the trees further out this way, which is what I would like it to do. There's an uncommon. Okay, I've got to get in for some O2. We're going to do some algae, uh, tier 2 algaes next. Uh, oh, right. So I'll put you in here. Put you guys in here. Yeah, see, I, that's why I don't want to pick up any more comments because I already have a ton of them. Is this done? Oh, there's bees. I told you guys that was the bees' knees. Look at that. Okay, you know what? That's a screenshot if I've ever seen one. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. Oh, here, let's take this. Um, hold on a sec. Go back into here. No, not there. Here. Unpin that. No, not that. This. Okay. That is cool, man. <laughs> the piece. Okay, here. Get another one. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. There's our screenshot for this episode. Oh, we got a new message, too. Okay, so we have bees in here, um, and we have a bee larva. So what that means is new... Wait, what was that? I didn't know there was another rocket launcher platform. A space trading rocket allows to send rockets in space to gain Terra tokens, can be used to unlock new recipes and items. No shit. I... That is cool. I think I did kind of glance at that earlier, but I didn't really pay attention to it. We're going to have to do that, too. That sucker uses 510 units of energy, though. Speaking of which, we should probably take a look and see what our energy consumption currently is. Okay, we're getting down there. We'll have to make another fusion reactor here pretty soon. Uh, what is this message? Message from this Riley person. 
After months of hard work, I finally managed to find my way into Sentinel unlocking process and unlocked the space trading rocket on your system. Usually, terraformers are not able to use this, but it should help you. The chances of surviving are greatly improved when activated, but Sentinel almost never allows it for planet crafters. I have no way to tell if you are still alive or not. If only we could see each other again one day. All right, cool. Anything else? Don't think so. All right, well, more stuff on the to-do list, man. Um, let's get these algae, uh, no, let's get the beehive made first and then we'll do the algae. So we're gonna pin that. Let's also pin the algae generators too. Okay, so for the bee's knees, we need a super. Oh shit, you know what? All the supers are back at the other base. All right, we're gonna have to break down another rod. Not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna need um, another bioplastic. Um, we're actually gonna need a total of three bioplastics to do all of these. Uh, so I can't remember if that takes two silicon or three. Just, okay, just three. All right, we're gonna need six mushrooms. Uh, you guys aren't ready yet. See, this is where we're gonna start consuming all the all these food items to make this shit. Water. Oops. Okay, and then a tier one fertilizer for the beehive. And also one for the algae thing and a magnesium. And then we should be able to make both of those. Uh, you know, the, the T2 algae collector is pretty small. Um, small time when it comes to generating O2 for us. Um, so I'm probably just going to set one of those up just so we have algae nearby if we need it in a pinch. Grab that magnesium. And we need another water. Actually, we need two waters because we should keep one in our inventory. Okay, so for the beehive. Um, are we going to have enough room for this, actually? I mean, I'm sorry, power. Thirty. Yeah, we have enough power to do this. I'm just trying to decide where I want to put that. Why don't, uh, we need to leave room for the butterfly dome, which I'm planning on connecting to there. How, well, how big is this thing? Oh, that's not very big. Okay. Well, let's pop this right down in, uh, in amongst the flowers then. Because I'm sure the bees would appreciate being in and amongst the flowers. Um. Oh, this, pro there we go. This produces honey. And it also it also produces 280 GS for plants and 12 for insects. How interesting. Okay. Nifty. I like the I like that the bees are flying around the flowers now too. That is just really cool. Uh in fact, that could be also a screenshot for us. Oh, a new tree seed too. Okay, cool. But here again, I got the stupid... I wish the pins would disappear when you take the HUD away. Why doesn't that happen? Uh, beehive, where are you? Right here. Uh, we don't... Uh, we don't need that up. okay hold on let's let's take this screenshot with these bees flying around this is cool i'm gonna do one more here all right now for the algae collector i just want that to be close to the base so we can run down and grab it when we need to um so let's 
put it right about there. Excellent. We are making some crazy progress, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy progress. Starting to get dark. Next thing on the list is our butterfly dome. Uh, so we just need a tree bark and one of each of the fertilizer types. One of those. Oh, no, not one of those. One of these and one of those. This is going to use 166 things of energy, and it's going to also go towards insects. And it wants a tree bark. Let's go check our energy consumption again. I'm not sure if we have 166. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Okay, we're good. So I don't know how large this dome is, but the plan is to attach it to there if it if it fits. Okay, yeah, so it's about the same size as the... Let's turn it that way. Pretty much the same footprint as the as that one, except for it's green. And we'll have to get some foundations underneath it. Okay, so do we have do we have an input for this, or does it just produce butterfly larva for us? Uh, what does the description say? Insert. Oh, insert butterfly larva in it to increase insect levels. I understand. Okay. So that means we need to go to here. No, not there. Here. And we need to make an Azura butterfly larva. So we need a common, a mutagen, and a fertilizer. Common uh, f uh, fertilizer. We're going to have to make a mutagen. All right. So that means we need to make a bacteria sample. One, two, three, grab water. A methane and a sulfur. This is just so fun. <laughs> this game is just, I know I say that all the time, you guys, but this game is just, it, if you're watching this game, watching me play this game and you have not played this game yourself, I can't recommend it enough. It's just, there's something about it. <laughs> it makes it just really enjoyable. Okay, uh, we also needed a methane, right? Yeah. Okay. If, um, you know, as I... Oh, no, not a methane, a sulfur. As I become, you know, more familiar with how the game works on subsequent playthroughs, um, and maybe even on this playthrough to some extent, I'll get a better feel for, you know, what sorts of things I can... Um... you know, kind of pre-produce, like, for example, mutagens, right? I could pre-produce a bunch of those. Um, once I kind of get a feel for how many we're going to use, we could pre-produce fertilizers. That, would, of course, would be off-camera stuff. I wouldn't do all that on camera, but anyway. So we got the butterfly. We got a new message. We got the butterfly dome up. Uh, we need to get some foundations underneath that. That'll be an off-camera thing, too, because that's kind of boring. I'll take care of that off-camera. Um, and we don't actually need to, but I just do it for aesthetics more than anything. Um, now, we have this spaceport thingy to do. Uh, but if we're going to build that, we're going to need another nuclear uh, nuclear fusion generator. Uh, which we're going to need anyway. So let's pin that. Um, and we have all everything we need to make this. That's, that's going to be easy peasy. I'm just trying to think... Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to need uh, pulsar quartzes. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these things are super rare, and it doesn't appear like we can put a, a mineral extractor down for them. Uh, 
looks like we need two more supers. But, you know, maybe the game will do the thing where it sends a pulsar crystal meteorite storm after us or something. Uh, when it, if, if it somehow is able to detect that we're running low on them, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Oh, here. Let's go put this down. Close to there. And boom. Okay, so that should give us a significant quantity of power for the next little while. We need to go eat something. Let's do a game save. Grab a bean. Um, let's also grab an eggplant. There. Get it get topped off. All right, so spaceport. Let's pin that next. Let's unpin you and pin you. This will be our first time using circuit boards. So we need three of those. A uranium rod. A super rod uh, over here. And a rocket engine. This thing's probably going to be sizable. See, I wanted to save this area here for more heaters. Um, do we go to a, a tier five drill? Don't know if we do or not. Tree spreader. Tier five heater. Oh, we do. Oh, I'll, <laughs> that thing has got to be an absolute monster. Okay, so yeah, uh, we need to we need to save this area for rails this area here I want to save for more base expansion well all right let's just get a feel for how big this damn thing is first oh it's not that big I was thinking it was gonna be bigger all right well let's just put it here and you know we can always move it later if we feel like it it's we need to I'd like to kind of line it up with the other one Cool. And yeah, so, oh, we got a, an achievement. Space trading. Build a space trading rocket. fan freaking tastic So we still have room, you know, to put more heaters in there when the time comes. All right, how does this work? Terra tokens available. Current inventory value, zero. All-time Terra tokens trade. Okay, Terra tokens allow to buy items and blueprints. Some... Uh, some items on your planet have a value. Insert valuable items in the rocket and send it into space. Oh, okay. So, oh, neat. So we can like go out and harvest stuff and sell it. All of this, like all those extra iridium rods that we have. Cookies. Cookies. Okay, bacteria sample, rocket is worth 13. Those are worth six, six and, and eight for the uranium. Uh, it seems like we're not using the uranium rods as much as we were before. Um, these should be worth more than six. Only because, well, I don't know, maybe not. I, they are abundant because of the meteor storms. But the iridium rods, we could farm those and sell them. Rocket engines, nah, I think we still need those. Bacteria samples would be super easy to farm and sell. Because that's just water and algae. Yeah. So I'm thinking iridium rods and bacteria samples would probably be the two main things. I, I hesitate to to do these yet until I have a better feel, you know, for how much, you know, we're going to still need them. Well, let's look what we have. we got cooking station, 
Smart fabric. Use this in the blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint. Okay, I don't know what that does. A customizable sofa. Customizable bed. Wheat seeds. Cocoa seeds. More fuses. Oh, this is neat. Tier oh, look at this, you guys. Tier 2 locker. Use this in the blueprint screen. Okay, so... It doesn't tell us how much it stores, but it maybe it uses some kind of futuristic compression technology. I mean, we are in, you know, the year 3000 and something. Oh, that is... Oh, shit. <laughs> let's get inside. Um, that is cool, man. All right, let's get our O2 back. I want to go look at the rest of that stuff. I mean, I'm sold on the freaking uh, better locker. Absolutely. Uh, I was kind of wondering, too, you know... Oh, I guess I have water in here. I was kind of wondering, too, if we were going to get a better locker. And now now we know. Okay. Um, a 3x3 living compartment. Tier 2 drone. We haven't even used Tier 1 drones. A rounded living compartment. Hologram projector. Huh. wonder what that does. A fountain. That's cool. And a living compartment with a dome. All right, I love it. I love it. So we're going to do some mass bacteria production, I think. And I'm going to probably also put an extractor over in the in the volcano for iridium. And we'll just sell the crap out of iridium rods, too, uh, to get these tokens. Thing is, though, is this locker, that's the very first thing I want to shoot for. Uh, where is it at? Here we go. That's, oh, geez, that's 5,000 tokens. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wow, really? 5,000 tokens? And we only get six per thingy? Oh, boy. Okay, that's that's going to take a while. <laughs> It's, uh, I, I see what they're doing there, and I approve of it too, by the way, for whatever that's worth. Um, you know, they're giving, they're giving you some really good end game incentive, and, and I love that. You know, because how, how many times do we play these games, we get into the end game, and then we, there's not a whole lot left to do, you know, and you get kind of bored. So it, that's just really smart on the devs' part to do that, in my opinion, uh, which you're all entitled to. Okay, so anyway, uh, this has been a great episode, guys. We have really done some good stuff here. Um, I don't know how much, how much longer we have in terms of getting to the last stage. Oh, we're almost at breathable atmosphere. Oh, baby. That is just amazing. Um, that's going to be such a game changer because we don't have to put up huts anymore for oxygen. We don't have to carry O2 tanks around. We can get rid of this, which will free up a slot in here. Uh, that's amazing. Anyway, what I'm saying is... Uh, today is April the 3rd, and I'm actually on vacation from, I have a, a week off from my job, my real job. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to crank these out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the end of the game before April 10th. And my concern about that is that once April 10th gets here and they drop 1-0, assuming they're on schedule, um... And not like some other developers, wildcard, <laughs> that uh, <coughs> can't uh, keep things on schedule. Uh, <laughs> did I say that? Um, I the, the, my concern is that nobody's going to want to watch the you know the old series when one O's out. Everybody's going to want to watch the new stuff, and, and I don't blame them. I mean, I would I do too as a consumer of this game. Uh, I, I'm going to want to watch that too. So. I'm really trying to get all of this out before April 10th, and I'm going to also almost certainly going to have to mul do multiple releases per day to do that because I am, like, so far ahead, uh, you know, of of you guys. In fact, you guys today watched um, episode 10, and I am currently recording... Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I just had another crash. Uh, the game doesn't like me to tab out. Anyway, I'm currently recording episode 20, 
21 or 22 right now. So just to give you an idea of how far ahead of you guys I am. That doesn't matter to you because, you know, you'll see this when you see it. But all that to say, I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to get this knocked out before 1-0. But, you know, if I don't, I don't. It, it, it is what it is. Um, I know some of you will watch this series all the way through, even after 1-0 comes out. But it, it's kind of the, you know, you want to attract new viewers and people are going to be interested in Planet Crafter when 1-0 comes out. And so that's kind of, you know, it's almost more of a business decision for my channel, if that makes sense. Uh, to be done with this series for that reason. But, you know, we'll it, it'll be done when it'll be done. And I'll just do the best I can. So, anyway, I don't even know why I shared all that with you. It doesn't matter to you guys, uh, really, but uh, there it is. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, I'm going to get the foundations on our new building here. I'm going to probably set up uh, a bunch more algae collectors and um, maybe some more ore extractors in the iridium area. Uh, so that we can really start mass producing iridium rods and um, an algae to start building up the bank because I really would like to get that tier 2 locker storage um, as soon as possible. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we're 4%, 4.2% on the way towards breathable air. That's going to be awesome. See ya.